following his step. For he says, if you only love those persons who love you, uh, then you're not really doing his will. But his real will really bespeaks of us loving people who won't love you back. That really is uh, the premier test of whether or not you have Jesus in your heart. Not how much you shout or how much you speak in tongues or all the other things that we associate with being religious. You see, some of us think that our religiousness or religiosity or whatever words we want to use ought to give us a pass in terms of society values. But what we've got to understand that if you really know God, then that gives you more enduring power. It does not give you a free pass because to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not to him, it becomes sin. You see, there are many of us who would spend time and energy and money trying to upgrade ourselves so that other people will find us acceptable. But let me tell you something. The only person I want to be acceptable to is God. And I don't really could care less about what you think uh, about uh, my social status because that's not going to get me in the kingdom. What's going to get me in the kingdom is if somebody needed some help and I took time to help them. He said, I was hungry and you didn't feed me. He said, I was naked and you didn't clothe me. I was in prison and you didn't come and visit me. And they said, when were you naked? When were you hungry? When were you in prison? He said, what you've done to the least of the little ones? He said, you've done unto me. And thanks be to God who gives us the victory. He didn't allow you to come from the depths of depravity to where you are now so you can sit and talk about how wonderful you are. God did not lift you from the depths of society so you can now sit here with a, with a smug on your face and acting like you got it going on. God did not drag you out of the hell that you were in so you can now come here and look down your nose at somebody else. Have not been for the Lord, you still be on the corner turning tricks. Oh, I'm talking this morning. If it had not been for the Lord, you still be running from this house to that house to that house to that house trying to find some joy. But I'm glad this morning that I found out that joy can't come from nobody's house, but it comes from the house of the Lord. For the joy of the Lord is my strength. CDs and DVDs are available at Solomon's Corner Bookstore. Hello, Wake Chapel. The Mother's Day brunch for all mothers and their children is today after the 10 a.m. service. Due to the overwhelming response, the location has been changed to the LEC gym. The event is presented by the Single Parent Support Ministry and is themed, There is Hope, Power, and Faith in Your Struggles. The speakers will include First Lady Cheryl Wilkins, and Minister Inel Doggart, Pastor Wilkins' mother. Wake Chapel's Anointed Souls Dance Ministry invites you to attend Movement Through Spirit, Soul, and Body, a worship arts conference to be held July 8th and 9th at the LEC. Dance ministries from all over will come together to share their gifts for a unique worship experience, including interactive dance shops, and dynamic speakers. Registration will begin next Sunday, May 29th, at Wake Chapel and online at wakechapel.org. The cost will be $15 for ages 13 and above and only $10 for ages 5 through 12. We are in full stride with planning our second giveaway of the year. It will be held on July 23rd and this time it's all about the students. We'll be having a back to school giveaway and we would appreciate your school supply donations for this cause. School supply bins are set up at all entrances of WCC North and WCC Central and a list of needed supplies is also available on the tables in the foyer. Thank you to everyone who provides canned good donations to assist those in need. Your selfless acts are not only appreciated by the recipients, but also by us at Wake Chapel Church. No one can predict when or if they will be facing a challenging time. However, we want to be sure that we are helping as many people as possible in their hour of need. 
We're currently low on our canned goods supplies, and we need those selfless acts of giving to not only continue, but to increase. Please take a moment and deposit a canned good donation in the blue bins located in the foyers. Your donations ensure that someone's need will be met. We are ready to celebrate the 20th anniversary of Pastor Wilkins and the First Family at Wake Chapel Church. And in case you haven't heard, it's going to be a festive time for all to enjoy. This year's theme is entering into another dimension of grace. The celebration will kick off on Tuesday, June 7th at WCC North with a production by the Company of Acts Drama Ministry. We will not have our normal time of empowerment service, but we will still have a good time. The production will begin at 7 p.m. On Saturday, June 11th, the formal black tie event, an enchanted evening with the Wilkins at the Broadway Center will take place at 6.30 p.m. in the LEC. The doors will open at 5.45 and you will need your ticket to gain entrance. Put on those dresses and suits and be sure to smile because there will be photographers on site to capture those special moments. As an added feature, the photographers will also be set up to take souvenir portraits. The guest speaker for the evening will be the Honorable James A. Wynn, Jr. Speaking of the LEC, due to all of the planning for the banquet, it will be necessary to alter some of the forthcoming events scheduled there. The stage area will be closed beginning May 22nd until after the anniversary. Please check the room assignments on the plasma screens as you arrive for your meetings to confirm locations. The Black Tie Banquet is only half of the celebration because on Sunday, June 12th, it continues at 7 a.m. with our service at WCC North. Pastor Harold Trice of Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church, located in Butner, will deliver the message. Then at 10 a.m., the celebration concludes at WCC Central as we welcome Bishop George Bloomer of Bethel Family Worship Center in Durham, North Carolina. This year's anniversary celebration promises to be memorable, but there is still so much work to be done and volunteers are needed to assist. Here's a rundown of when and where help is needed. Love offering envelopes for the anniversary celebration will be available from the ushers beginning next Sunday, May 29th. You may deposit your completed envelopes in the drop boxes or the offering baskets. WCC News for 